What's going on guys, comes here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we are going to be talking about everybody's favorite subject and that is of course XP, the best way to get some of the best cards in the game. Because I found out some new stuff, there's some new moments that drop some other stuff that I just think there's a lot of new ways to earn XP so I do want to talk about it. The first thing, the most primarily thing that I do want to mention is something that I have been slowly learning about and that is kind of playing for XP, playing games, and honestly, I think a lot of people don't really know about this. Playing with friends is a great way to get XP. I know ever since MLB The Show 16, they don't actually track stats, they don't track wins for those play versus friends games, because simply you could boost, if you guys remember, like the Captain Store, you could easily boost tickets and stuff like that, and you could easily get stats. I remember the Jose Reyes mission that year, it was like... I don't remember. It was a lot of stolen bases, damn it, and I could easily do it because I would just boost with a friend. So it was really easy to do, but there is a great way to get XP playing with friends. Really what you are going to want to do with this is um, kind of just play it like a regular game, but remember how XP is rewarded. So um, we're just going to show like how you would set this up. I think nine innings is the best. It really depends on how much time that you do have. Um, it would be helpful. You do want Want to complete the game that is very important so if you have a lot of time do a nine inning if you don't have that much time do a three do a five something like that I'm not too sure whether or not the difficulty does impact the amount of XP I think it does but very small but it's playing versus friends so you can easily manufacture runs so it doesn't really matter turn it up to legend nonetheless um, you can I, I always just turn this stuff off nonetheless you know like quick counts guest pitch um, because that's not a regular diamond diamond anyways but what you're gonna want to do is just head into this game and try to score a lot of damn runs because remember scoring runs is what gets you XP you get like end of game XP and then the XP you notice it you have that circle increase during the game that increases once you do stuff like striking out batters hitting home runs knocking in runs stuff like that is what's going to get you XP so honestly if you just trade off score like five runs per inning something like that um, you're easily going to to be able to get a lot of XP like I said the amount of innings I would say depends on how much time you have I guess maybe I wouldn't recommend nine I would say do something like five three to five innings just so you can complete them relatively quickly because like I said um, you do get I don't think it's a great amount of XP reward that you get for players versus friends obviously just because it's um, you know regular it's not like rank seasons or events or something actually competitive um, this is more or less a friendly game that you are playing playing hence the term play versus friends um, so I recommend probably turn it three to five put it on probably the highest difficulty and just score some runs um, the best way easily to do that of course is just throw the pitch right down the pipe throw them a fastball right down the middle they'll know what pitch is coming as long as you alert them of it and you can also kind of cheat the system and just make them score runs like if they hit a high fly ball in the outfield just run away from it and it will not count as an error as long as you don't just like drop it so that way it will count as runs it'll count as a base hit too and you're going to get a lot of XP that way and I really really do recommend starting that trying out the play versus friends method into earning XP I've uh, I've increased my XP quite a bit pretty recently um it wasn't that long ago that I opened my last um my last gold one pack where I got a uh, Frank Thomas and then I'm about to get this level 40 gold pack where I get another one of these players so I'm getting my XP up quite a bit I do also want to remind you especially since rank seasons is ending really really soon and reminder I will be streaming on twitch.tv slash to legend tonight I promise you I will be streaming so make sure to check out some world series grinding on there um, but I do recommend rank seasons is so good for XP I cannot stress this enough because um, um, let's say I don't know exactly where if you make World Series where exactly you end up I think it's in wild card let's just say it is wild card so let's say let's say I make World Series right I make World Series so I get the 30,000 XP right there and then but once the next season starts I'll start around like wild card so I play one game and I get all these rewards so I get 15,000 10,000 5,000 3,000 500 XP literally for playing one game just snap of the fingers Thanos style and you get all those rewards ASAP Rocky right into your account as soon as you play one game you have to play in a game for those rewards to actually get to you and all those packs from once you start it do 
redeem and go into your inventory so i really really cannot recommend rank seasons enough like i said play versus friends is also great um i don't know if i've talked about this but i do really think conquest i want to start this conquest out pretty soon because i finished pretty much all the moments that there really is out right now i haven't done the storylines but i really don't want to because i don't think they're that worth it but conquest not only do you get really good xp in there you also get a lot of packs you know you get those hidden reward packs which albeit are standard packs but nonetheless they are packs i think it's like 1 to 25 odds at gold and 1 to 100 odds at a diamond which isn't great it's double the worst of a show pack but it's still not bad but there's a lot of con there's a lot of xp to be had in conquest even if you just look at you know complete all the or uh, conquer all the ale strongholds 2000 2004 division pretty much and there's a lot of them along the way you know stealing 25 million fans and i have completed some of them already so i really do think conquest is great on to the moments there's a couple things i want to talk about if you guys have not done this ken griffey jr storylines what are you doing there is 30,000 plus xp um within here and i cannot recommend it enough i said storylines are not worth it this is the exception you guys can see there's uh there's a considerable amount of uh xp influx as well as stubs you earn double the stubs from like pretty much anywhere else out of all these other storylines and it's like thirty thousand xp if you look at the 25 200 that you get from the challenges in and of itself and then the bonus you get another 7500 and another 2500 stubs so you're gonna get like thirty thousand plus xp and you're gonna get like 6500 stubs so i really do recommend it these moments are not that difficult at least i have not found them to be if you guys do have any struggles with them of course multi-game missions go ahead and hit the dashboard method video up in the top right hand corner explaining that and that should help you out quite a bit um that was really the only one that i saw a lot of people struggling with so i do know that that is really worth it other moments that are good for xp of course these are always great i think you guys should probably already grind them nonetheless just for the fourth inning program stars so you can get one of those three boss players um because like i said there's 10,000 plus xp um right here and then there's another 7,500 so there's so much xp just sitting here in the moments tops now i'm going to recommend it again i personally think tops now is worth it especially some of these like hit one home run 600 xp that is pretty solid especially those single game moments if you're not gonna do all the tops now just do the single game or, or like the single plate appearance they can be frustrating at times but eventually it's going to happen it took me so damn long to actually complete this cody ballinger hit a home run off josh Hader. finally did it these are the only tops now moments that i have left to do otherwise i have completed all of them like i said i've really been grinding pretty much all the moments that are out here the wild card are always pretty decent there's some single plate appearance and um single game moments that aren't that difficult 650 xp and 200 stubs um for three total bases with nixon zell on veteran difficulty is not that difficult um so i really do recommend those if you guys are newer to the game even though if you cannot complete one of these you know the third inning program the second or the first i still would recommend that you guys are doing these moments because there still is a lot of xp like i said there is about thirteen thousand xp within just these first inning boss moments alone granted these are a little bit more difficult there's two uh there's two series especially this one where it's a six game series which can be a little bit difficult but like i said the dashboard method should definitely help you out with that um but i think that is uh wait no there was one more thing i believe that i had within uh the moments i'm not ex i think it was the monthly awards yes the monthly awards um if you guys have not done the uh if you guys have not done these yet these are also really good for xp you get over ten thousand. you get 3500 stubs and you guys also get this pack so if you guys have not completed that i really do recommend it um and this pack is also sellable so there's a 1 to 25 chance at a diamond um which isn't great but it you know there's a chance it, you're telling me there's a chance it is definitely worth you to do it and nonetheless you get a guaranteed gold that probably sells for 2000 and then the sony partner moments is something that i forgot to mention as well there's a decent amount of xp in here about 6000 for the new mills moments and honestly i do recommend this chris davis he's a great little bench bat has a lot of power versus right he's near maxed out at 122 and he has good contact versus them as well if nothing else he's going to be a good bench bat he's not going to start on my team might not start on your team but i think it is worth it i think pretty much all these moments are worth it in general and a lot of people have speculated that maybe 
um, there's going to be a grand reward where if you put an each Sony partner uh, reward moment card in there, there's going to be a special card that comes out at the end after all nine of the Sony partners moment cards are out. So that's another thing to think about. SDS usually does stuff like that, so maybe that's another incentive. But like I said, play versus friends, rank seasons, those moment challenges, and conquest really great ways. Of course, there's uh, XP and collections, but we've talked about that so many times already. So uh, let me know down below in the comments section how you guys are earning xp did i miss something is there a better way that you guys are earning xp right now it has been a while since i did make a video about this so i did want to alert you guys how i've been making my xp so you guys can go ahead and get your xp reward path right and hopefully be on your way to get a bunch of great rewards so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like down below hope you guys are great today and there it goes is out love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and i can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory.